Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Dead Age. This game is developed by Silent Dreams and published by Head Up Games, who sent me a key. Thank you very much. Uh, so as of a few days ago, this game just hit full release. It's been on Steam for a while now in early access. Um, it is a sort of uh, post-apocalyptic zombie survival game. So it has like a, a turn-based combat sort of thing. Uh, let me read the Steam page here and give you an idea what we're going to be getting into. It says, Survive the zombie apocalypse with turn-based combat and permanent death. Manage survivors, go on to dangerous scavenger hunts, build alliances, craft equipment, make difficult story-influencing de decisions, defend your camp against undead hordes, and experience non-linear roguelite elements. An innovative indie survival RPG. Uh, so yeah, the thing that's uh, kind of interesting about this is you're kind of following along a story, and where it gets interesting is is you the decisions you make can really affect the game, uh, the game, well, just the game in general. Uh, one bad mistake can really put a damper on your uh, on your game. So uh, that's that's really interesting. Uh, so we're gonna try it out and uh, see how we go here. So I this is the second time recording this. There's my other one, and uh, oh yeah. So uh, I decided to uh, clean up my recording folder as I was uploading the first one and uh, deleted the the file, so we're going to try this again. <laughs> oh. So anyways, yes, Dead Age by Silent Dreams. So uh, we have multiple jobs that we can do. I have not, I have not unlocked any of them. We're going to be a student. And my name is not Jack, my name is Nook. So let's uh, let's begin. I do not know what the different ones do. I'm assuming, I mean, it's an RPG, so I'm assuming they have different stats or something. So here's our story. Uh, it seemed harmless at first. Scattered individuals were reporting gaps in memory, followed later by exorbitant highs of adrenaline. Uh, scientists were baffled and were unable to find an effective treatment. The zombie infestation spread quickly. The outbreak raged across the country and plunged the entire American continent into chaos. Governments and science failed to contain it. Now all that matters is fighting to survive. And then we get a... Uh, our prologue is sort of like a, uh, a bit of a tutorial. So this helps us kind of get into the game and figure out what's going on. You let your tired gaze wander along the horizon. It is lined with scattered plumes of smoke in the distance. You strain to digest the evident, the events of the last few hours. Lily, are you there? Are you alright? You look around frantically, but there's no sign of your sister. Not much time could have passed since the accident. You were thrown from your car and lost consciousness to the side of the road. I have to find her. She can't be far. The country road is littered with empty cans. No sign of any people until you spot two still figures in one of the more distant cars. Lily? Hello? No, not again. No, you never go toward the, the distant figures. A grisly figure is approaching you. You have seen its kind too often in just the last few hours. In the rampant chaos of people screaming and climbing over each other, you saw several of them amidst the confusion. The horrific vagrant lopes slowly and with little coordination. Your adrenaline and thoughts race. Feeling the onset of panic, you tear at your backpack to open it. So we're going to do basically what this thing tells us to do at the moment. This is uh, the tutorial thing. So we're going to go to our inventory. Uh, it's going to tell us uh, we're preparing for combat. This is our character screen, essentially. We have all of our stats over here. We have 300 health of 300 health. And these will, as we level up, these will increase. We'll kind of get over that uh, in a bit. This is our um, our inventory system, essentially. We have a backpack. We have nothing else. We have no hat, no shirt, no pants. Um, well, we have a shirt and pants, just none that qualifies armor, I guess. Um, and then over here, we have our gear, which I guess is what is in our backpack. And we have a club. One bloody club. And we can put that into our hand. And the undead figure is approaching slowly. You hear a deep gurgle. Just a few hours ago, you watched one of these creatures tear your brother apart. Not even a minute later, your brother opened his eyes. He had changed into one of those things. So uh, now we're going to fight. And this is where the turn-based combat comes in. There we go. Us versus Unsteady Vagrant Level 3. It was this very same club you used to ward off what your brother had become. Remnants of fresh flesh and blood still marked the spot where you carved, caved his head. You didn't carve it, you caved it. Uh, so yeah, this is, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of uh, almost like an RPG maker kind of uh, combat system where you, you've got the size and you, and you just sort of pick your attacks and you pick who you're going to attack and it does that. So we're just going to use our stick and wail on this guy. Zombies can be tough, as you have recently experienced. This one could severely injure or even kill you. You remember that you have to another weapon in your pack. So uh, yeah, we're like, oh yeah, you know what? I got a gun in my backpack. You can always change weapons uh, during combat, which we're going to put our ammo into our pack, and we're going to grab our gun as well. And uh, we're not phased by the uh, audience that we have watching us, we pull out a gun. You realize that equipping new weapons takes up time. The approaching nightmare uses it to attack. 
die, you monster. You barely fight the pain to remain standing. Every weapon offers a range of uses. Once equipped, clingy, desperately your consciousness. You raise your gun to point it at your rotting opponent. So, uh, yeah, you know, what could possibly go wrong? I'm standing here. There's zombies all around me. Most of them aren't paying any attention. I'm going to pull out a gun and blast this guy. I have a feeling I know what's going to happen next. You thanked your lucky stars when your gunshot felled the zombie. Each shot requires ammunition, of which you have don't have much. At least you found something of use on the defeated creature. We found a tank top, which gives us a 3% bonus to armor. And interestingly, uh, on my last playthrough I did, this was only worth 2%. Ugh. I guess it's a level 2 short. The shots fired has attracted other undead. What do you know? They seem to sense your warm blood and flesh. They drag themselves groaning towards you. You have just enough time to prepare your equipment. You open your pack. The bloodstained undershirt offers minimal protection from damage your attackers may cause. So we can take our undershirt and whoink, put it on. So now we're a little bit, uh, a little bit more uh, defensive. The undead have reached you, weak and with only a few bullets remaining. You resolve to defend yourself to the last. So yeah, we're gonna do that. So we've got three of them against us now. This is where we are. We're in area uh, three of sixteen, whatever it means, on the highway. Um, we, I guess, this is what. We've frequently finds. I'm not sure what this quite means, but we have enemies standing near us. Our goal is to find our lost sister, Lily. We are going to attack these things that are on top of us right now. And we've got two bitten pedestrians and one unsteady vagrant. The bitten pedestrians gives a strength attribute bonus of 25% to every present ally, which is not really helpful for us. They can also see their hit points. So we're going to whip out our gun and we're going to blast. Uh, let's get on the list. Take that guy out. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get chowed on. Go to hell, says the sheriff, who shows up just in time. And, like, blows them away. Thanks, sheriff. Alright, we got a new shirt. The armed stranger radiates an intercom. The sheriff's uniform gives you the hope of having found an ally in this apocalypse. You should come with me. I could use another good man. I'm sure that's how the guy talks. Thank you, but I, I'm looking for my sister. She disappeared. Are you sure she's alive? The last few hours have seen more death than any other event in history. She has to be. She's tough. I lost consciousness and just woke up. No sign of her. Well, there's no driving on this road with all the abandoned cars blocking it. I'll walk along the road with you and help you. Look. All right. Thanks, Sheriff. Take some ammo and a med kit. By the way, what's your name, boy? See, he says boy. Clearly, that's how he talks. The boy isn't far off. You think to yourself as you open your pack, being a student hasn't really provided you with the experience you help to help you navigate this mess. You're already, you're aware that you are neither properly equipped nor ready to face the apocalypse. The name's Nook. Where are we going anyway? We got a camp not far from here. You can rest up and get your bearings, Nook. You decide to get your new med kit. Your medical inventory is limited, meaning you can only carry a finite number of medical things and syringes. Okay, so we have a med tip, med kit tab here. We can use this, and it wants us to use it. So we, you can see we are down to 235 hit points of 300, so we're going to use it. And now we are all better. You should also reload your weapon. You can combine partially filled clips. Do so with your pistol. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Combine those. Also found a better shirt. Um, yep, this one is, uh, it gives us like a strength bonus as well. See the, uh, yeah. This is actually less dodge, more strength bonus. Interesting. Um, I think I have to, how do I do this? I wish it was like they, oh, we have to, yeah, it wants me to just click specific ways. Alright, we got more zombies here. We have, um, bringing out a shotgun. Your opponent is, is an undead nurse. You must know your foe before you can be killed efficiently. You can find out more about an by selecting its name. Oh, we can. I noticed that before. And there still follows um, some muscle memory and instincts. You can heal other undead. Additionally, deal poison damage. Oh, oh okay. I didn't notice that before. Uh, so yeah, we'll take down the nurse. Sounds good to me. Ow, ow. Oh, man. No, shoot the nurse. Alright, um, yeah, I'm taking out the nurse. There we go. 38. Ah! Now we still have our club also available. We probably should use it. We don't. We go squandering bullets. Um, but we're gonna. Yeah, we'll do one more. Nineteen. Well, you know what? Nineteen damage. We can take her. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Beat down, sheriff. Can you hit him like you did that first time? I would really appreciate it. And we're gonna melee this guy as well because we're saving every bullet we got. Level up. You feel you've grown stronger. This would be a good time to assess your skills. 
Clutch of skill menu. So, our skills. We have combat skills and we have job skills. Um, the, the, um... As you put points into the skills, you hit these, you kind of these darker green things, and they give you, uh, more skills. Like this is a breakthrough. Solid hit, dealing 80% physical damage. Reduce the def defense attribute of the target by 75% for two rounds. Um, which, you know what? So, I have a handgun. Um, the first time I played this, I went through just basically focusing on the handgun. But then I ran out of ammo, and it wasn't pleasant. So, I'm thinking I'm going to put some skills into melee. I have, uh, as you see, I had, I think, seven points to begin with. Um... I'm going to put one in the Medic as well, and uh, we'll accept those, and then we can go over to Job Skills. Uh, yeah, yeah. I still have skills. Oh, you're not going to let me do it? All right, fine. I'll go to the other skills in just a second. So we get a new hat. We'll take the hat. We find a crate. The lid seems to be connected to something inside. Something inside by a wire of some sort. I'm going to try to open it, of course. And we're going to uh, let the Sheriff do it. We're going to point and say, hey, Sheriff, <laughs> open that box. Sheriff Clutch is great for closer inspection. Phew. It wasn't easy, but I did it. And we got some cinder blocks and some wood. Excellent. Look, keep an eye on that. Money is worth nothing anymore. Materials are the new currency. Use them to trade when dealing with a merchant. Leave the highway and start trekking through the woods. Luckily, the undead are few and far apart. When one appears, the sheriff makes quick work with a well-placed shotgun blast. You hanging in there? We'll be there soon. It's a little sign of my sister. Where could she be? With luck, she's with the survivors that you set up nearby. She might have also found our camp. You can rest up there. So I got three more skills. We're going to put it into... These are the uh, the other skills. Um, survival, crafts, medical, and cunning. Uh, survival in increased crit hits by two. Unlocks the hunter and the blacksmith jobs, which we will see shortly. For instance, blacksmith can craft ammo. Hunter can produce five to seven food rations per hunt. Food, I believe, it just gives you hit points. Um, crafts, we have the outfitter and the gunsmith, which... Um, basically, they're all just crafting jobs. Med if we want medical because we can get med kits. We're going to get actually one of all of these. Survival and crafts. We'll get cunning later. Um, yeah, we don't get that just yet. So we'll put some skills under there. Right here. Look out. The gunfire on the way here must have drawn a horde. All right. So we have a horde coming at us. So we're going to face a couple waves of horde. This is all the same. This is like the tutorial thing. So this part is all the same. Once we get to... I'll, I'll let you know whenever we get into the real game part. Protect the camp. Don't let them through the gate. How are we supposed to do that? There are so many. I, I am concerned. You're lucky I spotted you and your undead friends here. How'd you like this play, gentlemen? Trish, good timing. Go ahead, Nook. Awaiting your instruction. Mine? Trish has a few advanced skills, but to use something as strong as her, burning volley, you need two action points. Okay. APs are delayed upper left, which we will get. I don't know why we're still at this menu. Uh, okay. Um, yes. Yes. Show me the fight. All right, there's Trish, there's me, and there's the sheriff. So we have one action point. It wants me to do for combat readiness, which is going to show me here. It's going to award me an extra action point and also increase my defense. Yeah, we will do that because I have to. All right, my turn. I am going to, uh, you know, I'm just gonna melee this guy, this bitten guy. We're going. We're gonna go melee. Hopefully, maybe I can find a good, like, axe or something. A machete. Trish has enough AP. She can use this skill. Burning Volley now. With powerful range attack and hit multiple targets at once. Let's do it. All enemies. Oh, nice. All right, he's only got 61 hit points. Uh, yeah, we'll put a bullet in him. There we go. Well, see, it doesn't do that much more than my bat. Um, all right, Trish. Uh, just hit him. There you go. Right. What the? No, it can't be. So we got wave number two coming at us. With shock, you behold your enemy. Under the long and tangled hair lies the blood-soaked face of your sister. Her eyes blank and hungry. She didn't make it. That's her. What's wrong with him? He just found that he lost his sister. Lily. All right, so Lily is right there. We're going to take her down, though. Uh, Trish is up, and Trish is going to do her amazing burning volley ability. Oh, I just got spit on. Don't lose focus. That isn't your sister anymore. You know that. You never get used to that. Everything goes dark. You lose consciousness. In this state, you are unable to react. React. Luckily, Trish can ease your pain with a skill first aid. This skill can be only used if you have a medical syringe. You just hit me? Well, what is everyone hitting me for? <laughs> uh, all right, Trish, help me out here. 
So you just need me some first aid. First aid. All, right. All better. Man. <laughs> Zombies are ruthless. There we go. Yeah, I hit them. <laughs> Uh, all right, Trish is uh, going against. She's gonna do a burning volley. Look, we can probably take two of them out. Oh, I really want me to take out my sister, though. No, you know what? I deserve the the kill on my sister. So we're going to attack the bitten pedestrian. There we go. Sorry, Sheriff. I, I want. Okay, thank you. I wanted this one. This one's mine. Okay. What was wrong with me? I have poison. Oh, did she poison me? You have it too. Yes. Uh, okay, so we're gonna handgun attack in the head. There we go. I'm so sorry, Nook. Hang in there. Alright, so we found some tools on her. And now we... Basically, now we begin the game. We are back at the camp. And this is where the game becomes... Or we have to deal with crafting. And we have to... We can, we can do some shopping. And, uh, equipping our characters. So, uh... Yeah, let's get into it. Dead Age automatically saves your game at the beginning of each day. Since this is a survival RPG, manually saving during the day is not possible. Choose your actions wisely. Aching, you wake up to see Trish sitting at the edge of your bed, watching you with sympathy. She leans down to hug you comfortably, but you don't want to talk about your loss. You just want to get back to helping the camp. Look, we need new weapons. Come find me in the cantina, we can talk about the details. Just as you're about to grab a seat at the bar, a stout man bursts in. Trish looks at you, up with surprise. She must not have known about him earlier. The sheriff just brought us in, Hank. Hank is hurt. We were looking for his wife, but we got surrounded. What do we do? What do you... What do we do? Need to get him a med kit fast. Nook, you should get some materials. Talk me to me here in the cantina if you need more information. Nod and try to assess the new guy. He seems like someone you would have been friends with back in your normal life. Maybe you'll ask him out on patrol later. <laughs> That's romantic. Um, okay, so we'll go to the cantina. We want to talk to Trish. So I need to, I need to craft a med kit. Well, interesting. This is different than the one. I guess this is where the game changes, because last time I had uh, some other guy. Yeah, it was Hank, but I had to go find his wife. Maybe that's what we're going to be doing, but this is a little different. Hank's gone off and to look for his wife. He was Oh, he went off on his own to look. He was surprised by zombies and, and hurt escaping. He desperately needs medical attention. I want me to craft a med kit. Um, I think I can do that with this already. We have skills, though. Let's put another skill, melee, which gives us the breakthrough skill. You can see it uses more points as we put things into it. Um, heals or buffs allies. That sounds good. And uh, we'll put one into handguns. I guess. Might as well. And uh, we're going to put one in the job skills. We'll do a... We'll do cunning. Okay. Okay. Um, now, we need to go to crafting, which is going to be... Oh, put, first I've got to put my hat on. So we're going to wear this. And I'm going to give this shirt to someone else. If I can just give it to... Uh, I don't know who you are, Hank, but I can give it to Bill, right? Is Bill the sheriff? Is that his name? I don't know who Bill is. Did I miss something? Um, okay. And... We need to go back. Jobs. And here, we can make a med kit. And we have, we need to get, what is the, we need bandages. Not enough resources, okay. So we gotta go get some. Let's go to the cantina. Trisha is to search the highway by daylight for suitable medical components. You can view likely finds by viewing areas on the map. Okay, so it wants us to go to the, to the highway. That's what we're gonna do. Highway snakes westward through the woods. Frequently find medical components, that's what we want. So we, yeah, we need to go get uh, some bandages. So let's do it. We can go take care of Hank. Now he seems to be a fitting place for gathering medicate uh, materials. With some luck, you might even find an ambulance among the abandoned cars. Okay, stay calm. Look, it'll be all right. Hank won't bleed out of us if we're in a hurry. Uh, if we hurry. Let's hope we don't run into too many snags on the way home. Um, all right. Nothing in the gear category, right? Yep, we're good to go. Let's go. We got a bitten pedestrian and a zombie cheerleader. Time to get serious, Nook. I can handle a shotgun, but I'm low on ammo. We should learn to make more. I should also keep my uh, other skills in, in mind. In, you should keep my other skills in mind. 
combat readiness gives me extra action points and reduces the damage I take. Okay, so we're going to melee. We're going to take down the pedestrian, I guess, first, because he's only got 86 hit points. So, actually, let's do the breakthrough thing. What's that do? Dealing 80% physical damage, reducing the defensive attributes. Now, you know what? We're going to take this time quick. There's 31 of it. The shotgun should be able to do the rest, right? Shotgun. What's shotgun spray? Those have shot striking all targets for 60% physical damage. Ooh. I can hit all of them. Now, we're just going to take out this guy. Oh, come on. You got to kill him. But we can do the shrapnel spray next time and, and should be able to damage him. Interesting that this is like completely different than the first round that I played. Um, so I'm going to melee. I'm going to break through the cheerleader. Okay, so she should have a damage or a defense debuff, which she does. And now, Bill, I want you to, to shrapnel spray. You should be able to easily kill him. He only takes, what, five hit points? Is all he's got left? Yeah. There we go. Get him for 30. And we're going to stick with melee. There we go. 44. Nice. And, um... I don't want to squander your stuff, so... Just hit him. Just hit him with the bat, you know, apparently. Okay. There we go. Alright, I got some syringes. Excellent. Group discovers an abandoned rest stop. You carefully pick a path through the building while trying not to attract attention. With luck, you'll find something edible. Yeah, let's look. Looting. We found... Oh, we found a soda. Okay. And now we have... Okay, we can drink this and give us ourselves a little bit of hit points. Not much, but a little bit. We don't really need it right now. So let's go back. We got another uh, vagrant and a cheerleader we have to deal with. So let's, let's take him out. Oh, this is a different map. I'm seeing this one. Look at all these zombies back here. I'm concerned. All right, so let's uh, let's break through and take out. Do we deal with the cheerleader? I think we need to deal with the the, the weaker one first. So yeah, that's a weak hit. All right, Bill. Um, yeah, you know what? Shrapnel spray. Go for it. Team Spirit. <laughs> what does that do? Uh, increased strength. All right. Um, I'm going to melee. We're going to take out this uh, vagrant. All right, Bill's got it. Bill, you, can you melee him? 31? No, we're going to have to shotgun him. There you go. 60? All right. Uh, yeah, breakthrough on her. There we go. Now her defense is weakened. We got her. Nice. That's a good hit. And only 20 hit points. We can just melee save our, our bullets. Okay, more syringes. Abandoned police car. Perfect place to look for weapons and gear. It could also prove to be dangerous. Um, yeah, we're going to search it. Satisfaction, you pop the trunk and find a functional weapon. Oh, oh, be nice. Okay. Uh, all right, let's continue on. We can't return yet because... We need to uh, find our bandages. We have plenty of materials. We don't have enough of the bandages. Material is 12 of 2. Bandages is 0 of 2. Or heal Hank immediately. Which, I don't know if like, giving him this, does that count as healing him? I don't think so. Okay, so we're just sort of on the look for bandages, I guess. Uh, so we're just going to melee this guy. This is just one guy. He should go down pretty quick. You know, I'm just gonna melee. I'm gonna do all melee. I'm gonna save bullets. Does that block come with bullets? We'll look as soon as we get as soon as we take this one down, we'll go look. We have that audience again back there. There we go. Old weapon parts. Okay, crafting materials. Oh! Keep your eyes peeled for medical components and finally spot an ambulance. Inside you hear a woman crying. And we'll try to help. I'm sure, yeah. Take the woman's hand and try to pull her out. Then you notice the so her sobs have become more of a groan. A second figure steps from the front of the ambulance. Oh, they're sneaky zombies. Okay, we're going to focus fire on the weaker one. Um, I'm going to just melee. 
31, and then your shotgun. Can you hit him for 44? I think you can do it. You can do it. Nice. Okay, we're gonna just melee this one. And it might take it might get one more round out of it. Yeah. That's okay. Bill's alright. <laughs> All right. Hey, we got bandages. After seeing the undead nurses, you find two bandages necessary for crafting a small med kit. You check the list to see if you're still missing something. And we are not. So we need to return, right? I think we're ready to return. Yeah, let's return. Will it? Um, I don't want to flee. How do I... Maybe I can craft them now? Jobs. Doctor. Craft. Did I make one? Oh, only give me a sign while you're on while I'm in camp. Okay, I gotcha. Um, well, we do want to go back to camp, though. Because we gotta go help Bill. Or we gotta go help, uh, what's his name? Hank. So, yeah, we don't need to stay around here anymore. So, yeah, let's get... Get out of here. Uh, we're gonna return. It'll cost me a day, but that's fine. I mean, we are in no hurry to help anybody out. Remember the date? Fine rations, zero. Okay. Stately looking man drives into camp and proposes to do business. He wants a one tool and offers to trade. Small med kit available. Uh, he wants a tool. So if we give him one tool, he's going to give us a med kit? Yeah, that's definitely a deal. Dawn is breaking. Your survivors have a chance to recover 20% of their health. Look, camp doesn't have... Oh, there's the sheriff. You're not Bill. Camp doesn't have enough food left. Each survivor in your camp uses up a food ration every day. Hungry survivors lose health daily. You need to go hunting or visit the woods during the day to see what you can gather. I hope you're settled in, Nook. This camp is safe, but I have a feeling it may not stay that way. I'll give you fair warning if our situation changes. If you find any survivors, you should try to help them. You can assign them job tasks provided they have the proper skills. Okay. Um, so, what are challenges? Okay, this is like our stats. Okay, gotcha. Uh, let's go to the cantina and chat with Trish. So we did this, right? Talk. Oh, wait, wait, I, I make a med kit. What do we need to make a med kit? Materials and bandages, place, place, bandages, highway and daylight. Okay, we did that. Um, so we're gonna go to, um, no, no, jobs. Doctor, make a med kit. Yes. This survivor is a member of your party. Should she leave the party to do a job? Yes. So did we make it then? Yes, we have one now. So now we're going to go back to the cantina. And talk. Hank's condition. How bad is Hank? He's badly hurt, but not bitten. When someone's injured, they cannot fight or provide jobs. He'll lose a little more energy each day if untreated. Hank will have to do more than... Won't have more than a few days left, so you better hurry. Well, I got him one. Um, party? Oh, Hank. How do I give you... There we go. So, use. Hey, there we go. We... Yeah, thank you, man. I thought I was a goner there. I feel much better now. I'll be on my feet soon and could use your help. See me in the bar, okay? All right. We did it. Hank is okay. And, uh, yeah. All right, so anyway, that's, yeah, that, that is the game. Oh, hey, this is the one I think... Let's get, let's see what this is. Uh, we're going to go back. We're going to go to the cantina. Hank is quite worried and waiting anxiously for your help in the cantina. So talk to Hank. Hi, what have you got for me? I don't want to beat around the bush. It's about my wife. What happened? We got separated. I want to look for her, and I need help. I want to search the highway right away before the sun goes down. Hank looks at you hopefully. You don't want to disappoint him or prepare for today's adventure. You got separated? Okay, we had a fight. My wife is very sensitive, and we've been under a lot of stress with everything. That's happened. Uh, that's happening. She stormed off when I got loud. Uh, where would she have gone to? She can't be far. Maybe she barricaded herself inside a car? She's a tough broad. Can't hurt being that way in this new world. Okay. So, yeah. So, this is the one I did last time. Interesting that it changes. Um, we have to go hunt around and try to find his wife. Uh, anyways, I think that, uh, that is a good uh, um, rundown of the game. So, uh, thank you again for watching. I'll put the In the description, I'll put the uh, link to the Steam page. You can check it out if you like. But uh, I will see you next time.